Multiple video games based on the 2000 Nick Jr. television show Dora the Explorer have been released. Most of these games have received a mixed critical reception. Unlike other video games, these were not released in Asia, due to the TV show having fewer interest in said continent than North America and Europe. <laughs> Barnyard Buddies Dora the Explorer, Barnyard Buddies is an action-adventure game developed and released by Global Star Software for the Sony PlayStation on November 18, 2003 in North America and released in the PAL regions on May 2, 2005. Dora and Boots take a trip to the farm, but when they arrive they discover that someone has left the gate open and all the animals have wandered off. The player must help Dora find all 08 of the farm animals. It is the only Dora the Explorer game released for the PlayStation and is one of the last titles on the system as it is also one of the final games for the system following the discontinuation of the PlayStation in March, 2006. The game's cutscenes were used with claymation. The game was met with mixed to positive reviews from critics. <laughs> Superstar Adventures Dora the Explorer, Superstar Adventures is an adventure game for the Game Boy Advance released in 2004. It was developed by ImagineEngine and published by Global Star. The game uses pictures and symbols to communicate rather than words. The object of the game is to capture one of the six Explorer stars. Each Explorer star has a special power such as the ability to be noisy or the ability to create music. In order to capture it, the player must complete a hide-and-seek activity. These activities include maze navigation, matching games, side-scrolling race games, a frogger-type game, a complete the pattern activity and a song-playing game Simon game. Topic. Journey to the Purple Planet Dora the Explorer, Journey to the Purple Planet is an action-adventure game, developed by Monkey Bar Games, published by Global Star Software and powered by Vicious Engine. The game was released for GameCube in North America on October 13, 2005, and later in PAL regions on December 16, 2005. The PlayStation 2 version was released on PAL regions on December 2, 2005, and later in North America in October 13, 2005. An Xbox version was planned but was cancelled. The game is about Dora and Boots who find some lost aliens from the Purple Planet. However, to take them home, she and Boots are required to collect keys to open the Space Gate, leading to the Saturn Planet. It is the only Dora the Explorer video game for the Nintendo GameCube. IGN's Chris Roper gave Journey to the Purple Planet a 7.0.10. Chris said that the decent, simple puzzles are well placed in the Dora universe and stated, Dora the Explorer, Journey to the Purple Planet can be a fun adventure for young children who are learning their first school-related skills, like how to count, pick out colors, etc. The fact that it's tied to a highly popular television show is certainly a bonus as well. There are a couple drawbacks, like the fact that it doesn't actually teach in any way, it lacks an autosave and there might be a confusing section or two. For the most part though, the game does a good job of presenting simple puzzles with the Dora the Explorer franchise in a way that will please and entertain young kids. <laughs> Dora Saves the Mermaids Dora the Explorer, Dora Saves the Mermaids is an adventure game released by Black Lantern Studios in North America in 2007 for the Nintendo DS, and by Totally Games for the PlayStation 2 in 2008. It was later released in PAL regions that same year. Dora Saves the Mermaids is set in the Mermaid Kingdom where an evil octopus insists on dumping garbage into the ocean, making the Mermaid Kingdom covered in trash. Players assume the role of Dora who must help Mariana the mermaid find her missing magical mermaid crown. But the only way to accomplish the task is for Dora to become a mermaid herself. Along the way, 95% of the time, players run Dora around snaking paths, pick up gems and get from point A to point B while encountering wrinkles as things that bounce or catapult Dora into the air. The game received mixed reviews from critics. 
The DS version received an aggregate score of 55.40% from GameRankings 5 reviews, while the PlayStation 2 versions received a 64% from GameRankings 2 reviews. In an IGN review, Sam Bishop did praise the game for pulling the voice actors from the show, which he said, was a wise move, and the visuals, which he said, do absolutely nothing to wow, but don't look terribly ugly either, but criticized the game's variety that he said, would have helped keep the entertainment up above the level of, say, passively watching that Dora DVD for the 857 millionth time. Stating, as an educational tool, Dora Saves the Mermaids falls flat. As a simple distraction, it falls short, and as a game that is meant to get adults in on the action to help out, it isn't really a very collaborative experience. Yes, it's a kid's game, but that doesn't mean that it has to feel like a bit of a rip-off. <laughs> Dora Puppy Dora Puppy is a puppy simulation game developed by Take-Two Interactive for the Nintendo DS and published by 2K Play in North America and Australia in 2009, and in Europe in 2010. Players must help Dora take care of her puppy, Perito, and help train him for doggy competitions. Care involves washing and brushing, providing food and water, letting the dog outside to do its business, cleaning up paw prints, and playing several different games with the puppy. Players earn tokens for each task, which they can use to buy new toys or clothes for Perito, or to enter him into the big puppy competition. The competition involves helping Perito run an obstacle course and having him strike poses. All the actions are performed by either tracing certain shapes with the stylus or calling out commands into the DS's microphone. Topic: <laughs> Dora saves the Crystal Kingdom. Dora the Explorer, Dora Saves the Crystal Kingdom is a side-scrolling game developed by High Voltage Software and published 2K Games. It was released for Wii in North America on November 3, 2009, and in Europe on November 27, 2009. The game was later than released on computer platforms and the PlayStation 2 in North America on November 12, 2009. The game is about a king that has hid the crystals in the Crystal Kingdom, and Dora and Boots must find all of the crystals to save the Crystal Kingdom. As the game is played, players have to find four color crystals in three of the stories, plus the one from the king. Before players go into the storybook, players have to collect as many pages as they can for that story, which some pages are hidden in crystal barrels which Boots can dive into them to get the page out of the barrel. In a Common Sense Media review, Ginny Goodmanson awarded the Crystal Kingdom five stars, and called it a perfect starter game for Wii. Kyle Saduki's on Impulsive Gamer gave the game a 7.6.10, and said that the game is not like the other edutainment titles from Dora the Explorer but is an actual arcade-style Wii game which uses the motion sensitivity of the Nintendo Wii controls. Stating I applaud 2K Play for creating a girl-only game and thankfully it's not edutainment or a game that has been slapped together. Mirroring many aspects of other arcade games, Dora Save the Crystal Kingdom is a colorful delight that will captivate the younger gamer while they explore a variety of worlds and meet familiar faces from the Dora the Explorer universe. Not bad at all. There was also iPhone app called, Dora Saves the Crystal Kingdom – Rainbow Ride was released for $3 on the iTunes Store on May 4, 2011. In the app, players tilt the phone left and right to steer Dora along a twisty rainbow slide which players ride over crystals to collect them, and count along with Dora with each recovered crystal. The app also includes a coloring book application within the game that lets iPhone users use the color crystals to color the Crystal Kingdom via a touch-screen coloring book. Cooking Club Dora's Cooking Club was published by 2K Play and released for the Nintendo DS on October 26, 2010 in North America. In the game, players have to chop veggies, stir soups, top pizzas, and stuff using math skills. They may be sorting cookies into numbered groups or counting out different amounts of ingredients. 